lots of issues there, heat wave disrupting uh, uh, power supplies. Uh, and then you have, of course, you know, the whole lending mechanism not working very smoothly. Uh, what does all of this mean for China's growth? Yeah, obviously, we're going to see some implications on growth. Um, you know, in, in many respects, we thought, especially after the lockdown in Ch Shanghai, that the worst could be behind us. Um, but potentially, you know, with a lot of these, um, with the concerns about inflation, with concerns about the heat wave um, trickling in, it could mean that the policymakers will have to act a little bit more decisively and increase some of the stimulus. So we've seen very targeted stimulus so far, very sort of trickle down um, stimulus that hasn't really um, been taken very strongly by the markets and has really um, been less um, surprising and less and hasn't been hasn't taken the markets into into full force. So. The, the key thing here is as growth slows, that policymakers are going to have to act a bit more um, responsibly, more decisively in terms of something a little bit more than what we've seen so far um, to mitigate some of that um, growth pressure. Uh, and so do you think they've done enough? Because that's, that's another debate in the market, whether it's too little, too late, or they still have a handle on things. I mean, there's, there's, it's, it's always a question of can, can the, they'll need to do more, especially because the response from the, from the, from, from growth hasn't been as strong as expected. So, uh, in our, in our view, for example, some of the measures that had, they have done so far in terms of uh, responding with um, some of the cuts uh, on some of their policy rates, that's important and norm, more needs to be done. Uh, the response to, um, for, for some of the, for the policy banks to support uh, the property sector, that's all positive, but in our view, there needs to be something more, a little bit um, more, more aggressive uh, for markets to feel a little bit more comforted that growth is going to pick up in China.